Hello. Just want to give you another rosy update. I learned two lessons yesterday. The first lesson is going to get my hair cut. Notice. Hair cut, right? So I get in the van, no problem. Get tied down, no problem. Travel, no problem. Get to the destination and problem. <laughs> you know, I'm not used to going out the side doors. You know, so here we are, we're driving through this parking lot down by the first choice in Bradford. And we're looking, okay, where can we park that I can get out the side? So naturally, I said, well, why don't you just pull up alongside the plaza? You know, because at the far end where the dumpster is, next to the ramp, hello, um, there's a place that you can parallel park, and I can get out the driver's side door. Not the actual driver door, but there's a passenger driver's side door. So, I get untied, the ramps get put out, I flop over backwards after taking the headrest off, and I slowly drive forward. It's a really uncomfortable feeling, but they can't see where I'm going. But I'm being coached. Hey, right, come for it, for it, yeah, you're okay, go, go, go. So as soon as I felt my front wheels hit the ramp, yeah, I'm okay. So I started going down the ramp. And I get about maybe, what, halfway? And I'm starting to hear that, I know most of us who are in wheelchairs recognize this sound, but it's that sliding metal scrape sound. So it's like, uh oh, my ramps are moving. But by this time, my front end had already hit the pavement, or the sidewalk, whatever you want to call it, and my ass end kicked out the ramp a little bit. So that caused my rear end to go, boom, down onto the walkway. And when I, of course that makes me fall forward. And then, you know, the next thing I know, one thing that helped put my head back up, put the headrest on, I'm looking up at this big, burly man. He's big. Very tall, very wide. A big boy. Friendly fella, because the first thing out of his mouth was, Hi, are you going to go to the carrot fest? I thought, okay. <laughs> and I said, here, I thought he was going to say, can I help, can I help? And start panicking, right? But no, he didn't. I thought, bonus, good guy. So anyway, I know he was concerned because all you can do is just keep looking at his eyes. He'd be like, looking at the van, looking at the ramp, looking at the van, looking at the ramp. So you know he's eyeballing this situation, right? So anyway, when I got all settled, I said, thank you. And away he went. That was lesson one. Make sure the ramps are the right width. Lesson two. I'm still paying for it. My nose is still a little sensitive. And what I mean by that is, after getting my hair cut, right, I, my neck was tired. So I have a traveling headrest that I now take with me, and it pretty much grabs your head. So all I had to do was tip my chair up a little bit, so it throws my body back and my head goes into the headrest. And then I can goose it and gun the chair and not worry about losing my head. However, because I do tip the chair back, it also raises my chair up just a bit. And silly me, when I went down the, the sidewalk ramp, over by the garbage bin, hello, the dumpsters are going to get in the way again. Wakey, wakey, Bradford. So anyway, when I went down that ramp into the parking lot, I realized, oh, aren't we lucky? There's nobody parked to the side of our van. So I go in this time through the passenger side. So the ramps were laid out and they looked better, so front wheels go up. As soon as I know my front wheels 
my front wheels are on the ramp properly, then I know my rear wheels are going to come up no problem. So as I get up to the top, front wheels are into the van, my head is back, but my poor nose just got smushed as I slide in through the doorway. I realized, holy shit, I didn't put my chair down. And of course, Doug, who was helping me up the ramp, couldn't figure out, hey, I got out the other side, no problem, didn't hit my nose. Why am I hitting my nose on the passenger side? So as soon as I got settled inside the van, I said, uh, guess what I did? I forgot to put my chair back down to flat. So lesson two, be sure to level the chair out. Don't leave it tilted. Lay flat, lie flat, stand flat, sit flat, just be flat, and I get through the door. Lesson two.